Pro Group Management. Workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good evening, I'm Jen Ah. Thanks for joining us on 7 at 7. In Top Stories, sponsored by Nevada Hand Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at NevadaHand.org. Casino magnate Phil Ruffin is headed to the Bay Area to meet with the Oakland A's brass about a potential site for a new ballpark in Las Vegas. Review Journal's Renee Summerauer has the details. Yeah, Ruffin owns multiple properties in Las Vegas, including Circus Circus and the Las Vegas Festival Grounds. A source tells the Review Journal that the Festival Grounds site will be the subject of the talks. The A's have been looking for a site for a new ballpark in both Oakland and Las Vegas. Team officials have been to Las Vegas multiple times to scout locations. A's president Dave Caval noted the team's interest in the festival grounds earlier in the search process, but the focus has shifted away from that location as the team's market research progressed. Also in play, the land the Tropicana Hotel currently sits on. The A's are still on parallel paths with Las Vegas and Oakland, where a potential $1 billion ballpark could be constructed. The A's are waiting for the Oakland City Council to return from summer break later this month. Once the council is back to work, A's officials hope that the two sides can reach a binding agreement on the proposed project. And you may notice some traffic backups overnight on the Strip. Here's the reason why. Don't worry, what you're watching is not street racing. A stunt driver is reportedly filming a commercial for Audi's electric car division called Casino, matching the Vegas backdrop. The intermittent closures lasted until 6 this morning on Las Vegas Boulevard between Caesars Palace and Harmon Avenue. More closures are planned through Thursday morning from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. In business, sponsored by Bank of Nevada, Bank on Accountability. The Cashman Center is being eyed for redevelopment again, this time into a medical campus, including a children's hospital. After plans for a new stadium there never materialized. The City Council scheduled to consider an exclusive negotiation with True Development on Wednesday to study a possible mixed-use medical campus on the city's 50-acre property at Washington and Las Vegas Boulevard. Despite the overall housing market pulling its brakes, that's not the case for new luxury homes in Vegas. Home Builders Research reports of 235 houses closing in the first half of 2022, 16% more than a year ago. We're talking about new homes costing $1 million or more. Experts say this is due to increasing costs to build custom homes, especially for those relocating from California. In entertainment, sponsored by Best Mattress, Best Service, Best Selection, Best Price Guaranteed. The couple, once known as Benefer, finally makes their Vegas marriage official on paper. Ben Affleck and JLo rolled into a little white wedding chapel last month. Their marriage certificate has since been returned to the Clark County Clerk's Office. The marriage license refers to JLo as Jennifer Affleck. She posted online, it turns out, love is patient, 20 years patient. And winning a jackpot in a Las Vegas casino is one thing, but as Review Journal's James Schaefer finds out, there's more to the story after you win. So you've won the jackpot, now what? Energy's pulsing through your veins, you might let out a scream of excitement. 1500 and War Station 9, please. That's when you meet this guy. Hi, my name is Efren Trillo. I'm a guest service ambassador. How you doing? How are you? Good job. Ephraim is the GSA for the Red Rock Casino, and he's the guy that will give you the winnings and the options on what to do with it for tax purposes once you win big. I go in there and congratulate the guests, uh, pay them uh, a quick, as, you know, as quick as possible. So when the guest wins, uh, I bring the, the tax form uh, for them to sign. Up to, you know, they will take taxes out or whatever they choose to do. So next time, if you're lucky, you might just see Ephraim before he brings you some good news. How are we doing, sir? Good, how are you? How are you? Good. For the Las Vegas Review Journal, I'm James Schaefer. In weather, sponsored by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. The rain rain has gone away for now. We're looking at mostly clear skies with temps in the 90s, which should dip into the 80s by midnight. On Wednesday, another mostly sunny day with a high of 105 and low of 85 degrees. On Thursday, your highs start to dip into the 90s with possibly some overcast skies. Also for the rest of this week, you can expect isolated thunderstorms to rumble through certain parts of the valley. 
Vegas Nation, brought to you by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the app today. The Raiders' first depth chart of the 2022 campaign was released Tuesday, ahead of the team's preseason opener against the Jacksonville Jaguars in the Hall of Fame game on Thursday. The offensive line battle has been closely watched throughout camp, and the chart shows second-year lineman Alex Leatherwood getting the starting nod at right tackle with Brandon Parker listed as the backup. Cornerback Nate Hobbs was also listed as a starter, opposite of Rocky Yassin. Sports brought to you by DNR House of Diamonds, making luxury affordable, located in downtown Summerlin. The UNLV men's basketball team has returned to the court for the first of 10 days worth of practices before taking things international. The Runnin' Rebels are set to play three exhibition games during a six day foreign tour in Vancouver, British Columbia. To have this opportunity to travel, you know, to Canada and, you know, even go through customs and international travel and being a foreign country and play is, uh, I think it's a great experience. So to have this opportunity to get a few games under our belt in August is, uh, is very exciting. Sports betting sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. The English Premier League season kicks off this week and two-time defending champion Manchester City is the 5-8 to eight favorite at Westgate Superbook to win the title. Liverpool is next at 5-2 to two, while Tottenham represents the book's biggest liability at 12-1 to one after opening at 18-1 to one in May. Chelsea is 18-1 to one, followed by Manchester United and Arsenal each at 30-1. to one. In Health, sponsored by Boulder City Hospital. We're here for you when you need us. Nearly 120,000 pounds of P.F. Chang's frozen dinner are facing a recall. It's beef and broccoli with this lot code and sell-by date may contain orange chicken instead, and also eggs, an allergen not declared on the product's label. This recall does not affect P.F. Chang's restaurants. And the new COVID vaccine, Novavax, is now available in Clark County. The Southern Nevada Health District reports the two-dose vaccines are available to adults, 18 and older. The vaccine is shown to be 90% effective. In Lifestyle, the three-day festival, Life is Beautiful, is coming up in September and has just announced its culinary lineup. A roster of more than 70 options includes Bazaar Meat, China Poblano, The Pepper Club, Olives, The Beast, Amari, La Strega, Harlow Steakhouse, Momofuku, and Mabel's Barbecue. For vegan and vegetarian options, go to lifeisbeautiful.com. Thank you for watching 7 at 7. If you have a Roku device, just search Review Journal to download our channel. Watch Las Vegas Breaking News, streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you tomorrow for more 7 at 7. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.